I'm John Skinner, and this supports Chapter 8 in my book, Striper Pursuit, and you can learn more about the book at striperpursuit.com. So this is an old Rebel plug, and uh, it's a jointed plug, and uh, he, he bent the back wire so the plug doesn't swim correctly anymore. I was able to bend it back keep using it for this purpose. And I cut the hooks on this plug. Uh, I'm, I'm mostly interested in getting the hits here and watching stuff like that, so uh, I really don't want to hook these fish. So the high-pitched sound you're going to hear in a few seconds uh, is actually the sound of braided line when it's being reeled. I started reeling the plug in. Uh, that actually triggered the fish to start hitting it. So this was filmed with a water wolf camera, and one of the places you can buy one is at J&H Tackle in Oakdale, Long Island, both in the store and online. So some weed got on the lure, and this is going to be a very fun clip. So if you've ever been reeling a lure and all of a sudden you feel like a puff of slack, um, I think what you're going to see in a second is a good demonstration of what can cause that. Look at that tail sweep and the blast of turbulence that came from that sweep of the tail. And uh, you know, certainly that's something you would feel on the end of your line. So thankfully the camera is durable, uh, there's some teeth marks in it now, but uh, no, no damage and I don't think they can bite through it. So the camera is fun, but it's educational too. Um, this is not a spot that I put pressure on and um, boy I dropped the camera down to the bottom to get started and whoa, uh, I'll be putting some effort into this location. That looks real good. So sometimes the video appears greenish, other times bluish. Um, this actually is filmed all within the same location, of a real small area, over a period of about 90 minutes. Uh, and it's a matter of the way the camera is adjusting itself to the light, because sometimes it's green, and then you get hit, and, and then you'll see a change in color. So um, that's what you're seeing here. I find it interesting how fast they can let go of the plug. Uh, you know, like I said, the hooks are cut, but somehow I would just picture bluefish grabbing something and and you know just chomping down on it and swimming away with it. But boy, the, you know they bite down and and feel that you know what they don't expect and they let go of it in a hurry. There were no visible signs of fish on this trip, nothing splashing, no birds working. Uh, I was just working near some channels where I expected some blue fish to be moving through with the current.
All right, I'm done narrating now. Uh, there's a real nice clip at the end, so it's worth hanging in there for another minute. If you enjoy these videos, please subscribe to my channel.